Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today I wanted to talk to you about the true cost of the Intel i9-9900K, which as most of you probably know by now, was announced on this Monday. I did attend the event in New York City. I already posted some content discussing that, and that's why I wanted to do this follow-up video because there was a piece of information in that video that ended up being incorrect. However, it was really because of Intel's faulty marketing and mislabeling the price in some of these slides that they showed during that event and that were distributed to the press afterwards. So I really wanted to discuss that because the price that I mentioned in that video and many other outlets very likely mentioned as well on that initial launch day because it was the only price we had to go on at the time was $488 for the i9-9900K. I'll draw your attention to this slide right here, which shows the specs and everything like that. So the i9 the i9 is selling for $488 according to this. However, if you look at the fine print above that, it says that that's RCP pricing based on USD, US dollars, for 1000 which really what that correlates down to is this is the pricing for 1,000 units. And I couldn't find the actual term RCP anywhere online. I tried Googling around for it, but if you know exactly what it means, let me know down in the comments below. I assume it means probably something like recommended consumer pricing or something along, maybe the C doesn't stand for consumer, but it's probably recommended some type of pricing. But at the end of the day, that $488 price is only based on if you actually go out and buy a thousand units. However, many outlets reported that this is going to be the MSRP, which we know now is not the case. I saw people commenting this on the video almost immediately after it went up, people saying that they had pre-ordered over on Amazon for $520, some people saying it was almost $600, and that is backed up now if we go look online, like over on Amazon, it's currently unavailable, so we can't see the actual price on there. But if we go on Camel, 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 which tracks pricing over time, we can see on there that initially when it was announced two days ago on October 8th, it was selling for $530. So Amazon seems to have it a little bit cheaper than some of the outlets over there, but this is still $40 more roughly than what was shown in that initial press slide. Over on Newegg, they're still listed right now for $579.99, so $580, almost $100 more than what was in that press slide, which is definitely a long way away from what was actually shown in there. Going back to the press slide, we could see the 9700K was 374, the 9600K is 262, and if we look on Newegg once again, we could see that the 9700K is actually selling for 420, which is more than 374, and the 9600K is actually listed at $280, so a little bit higher than what was in the press slide of $262. So either way, this pricing on this initial slide was, I feel, very misleading, and it's not what you should expect to pay for these processors when they first come out. I mean, maybe in two, three months' time, once pricing settles down and the initial supply and demand uh, is not really there, and the well, demand is not there, and we get increased supply, then you know maybe you might be able to find them at a reduced cost. But at launch right now, it looks like at least for the i9, you're going to be spending over $500. So that definitely you know changes things a little bit. I mean, it's still a decent amount more than AMD Ryzen. And I just have to question as to why they would do this because when it comes to performance, Intel really doesn't need to really lie about their performance, although they've been caught doing that as well this time around. And for that content, you know, Steve over at Gamers Nexus did some killer content on that, as well as tracking down the people that were actually commissioned to do the fake testing, even though they had no reason whatsoever to lie about their performance. Because when it comes to Intel versus AMD, they pretty much beat them handily, right? It's, it's, it's a no contest. However, AMD is close enough where you can make a very, very good argument for price to performance, which is where AMD definitely beats them. With the Ryzen 7 2700X, is selling for $300 right now, and it looks like the 9900K is going to be selling up to $580. So that's almost double the price, and you're getting about a gigahertz more on the frequency, but the core and thread count is exactly the same, and we won't really know until next week when we get the performance numbers and we get the testing. I will be testing the 9900K. I just got confirmation this morning that I'm going to have samples on the way, so you guys can stay tuned for that content. But really the only area that they would lose to AMD is price to performance. So maybe that's why they wanted to make these numbers look a little bit lower than what they actually are, even though it's still a fair bit higher 
than the AMD Ryzen 7 CPUs from the second gen. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this. I mean, it just it just it just feels like an unnecessary move by Intel because I feel like the enthusiasts that want the fastest processor for gaming are probably going to go out and buy these anyway. The same type of people that would go out and buy a 2080 Ti, let's say, you spend twelve hundred dollars on that because they just want the latest and greatest. And you know, pre-orders are available for these products, even though it seems like they're a little scarce right now. So it looks like they've already been gobbled up by uh, people that want them. Uh, but as always, I never really recommend pre-ordering any type of hardware until you have actual performance numbers. I mean, just look back at the 2080 a few weeks ago now when that came out. People that pre-ordered that, could you imagine the regret they have when they realize it's just a 1080 Ti? I mean, people may have gone and sold their 1080 Ti's to buy an RTX 2080 only to realize that they were actually side grading and probably operating at a loss after selling their 1080 Ti for less than what they had initially paid for it. So that's the type of thing you really want to avoid with any pre-ordering. So um, don't pre-order, wait for the numbers. These processors will definitely be available, maybe not on day one, but probably a week or two after they'll have more supply. And two, three months later, you'll probably see the prices even come down, which has been tradition with other processors from Intel as well as, as, well as AMD, where the prices after launch a few months will definitely come down. So stay tuned for the 9900K review. I believe we're allowed to post content on the 19th, so just nine days away now. So if you could wait that much longer, you don't have to go out and pre-order. You'll get performance numbers from people like me, Gamers Nexus, Paul's Hardware, Jay's Two Cents, Linus. Every tech outlet out there will have reviews for the i9. So if you can wait a little bit longer, I think you'll do yourself a big favor by doing so. And I will definitely be comparing it up against the Ryzen 7 processor to see you know the price to performance and what it can all do with that if you have any recommended testing or just something you want to see done in that video leave it down in the comments below and i will do my best to try to fill everyone's request if it wasn't something i was already planning on doing anyway so as i said i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here if you enjoyed this video or learned something new don't forget to stick a thumbs up on it down below and subscribe if you're not already and if you have been here for a while you can always ring the notification bell that way you never miss a moment of content here on the channel like the 9900k review but i'm gonna get out of here and i will see you guys tomorrow for another video Ta -ra.